What's up guys, Clintus here back with another review and this time we're going to be reviewing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Multiplayer. And I say multiplayer because I haven't played the campaign yet. Uh, if you watched my Titanfall 2 review, uh, you heard that I skipped campaigns for the last five years. Uh, outside of Destiny, I haven't played a campaign at all in five years. The last campaign that I remember playing, I think, was Black Ops 1. I got Modern Warfare 3, started it, and said, meh, I really don't care. I just care about multiplayer. And to this day, PvP is my favorite thing to do. First-person shooter PvP. That's my, that's my jam. And Call of Duty has been my jam for the last five years until Destiny. Uh, and we're not going to talk about Destiny right now. We'll, we'll talk about Destiny another time. But let's talk about Call of Duty. Um, so right out, of the gate, right out of the gate, guys, when this, when this launched November 5th, I think it was, 2016, it had already had a bucket of hate waiting for it. Uh, the hate mail was already piled up at the post office. People were ready to just thumbs it down and talk trash. And, um, you know, even after it launched, it had a huge launch. Tons of streamers were streaming it. Tons of people came out to watch it. It's Call of Duty. Hate it all you like. It's Call of Duty. And you're going to buy it. You're going to play it because it's Call of Duty. And I did. I pre-ordered it. I got the Legacy Deluxe Giant, whatever the most expensive one was. I got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and I got Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Haven't touched that yet, but when I do, I'll do a review of that as well. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, short and sweet, it's basically Black Ops 3. Uh, maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. That's your opinion. My opinion is, I love Black Ops 3, so the fact that this feels like Black Ops 3 has almost all the same mechanics as Black Ops 3, but it's got new guns, new rigs, new maps, makes me a happy camper. Uh, it's basically more of the game that I love, just with a whole new fresh coat of paint. And I know a lot of people are complaining about that. It's basically a Black Ops 3 reskin. Um, I, I mean, what's the difference between if it was Black Ops 4? I mean, realistically, let's just say, what if this was Black Ops 4? It's, it's, it's just an extension of the same game, right? Um, but yeah, a lot of the mechanics are the same. There are rigs, which basically were the specialist classes for uh, Black Ops 3. Uh, there are multiple rigs you could choose from. They all have uh, different abilities, uh, both offensive and defensive, or passive, more, more, or more passive effects. And each one has three different options for both your offensive and your passive effects. Um, you can personalize the rigs, make them look the way you want to. You can unlock, uh, you know, helmets and gloves and all that sort of thing. Um, there's also your traditional uh, weapon choices: assault rifles, SMGs, snipers, LMGs. Uh, pistols, that sort of thing. Score streaks are still a thing. Medals are still a thing. And uh, there's lots of challenges. As you'll see in the gameplay, I unlock uh, multiple challenges just playing the game. There's daily challenges. Um, there's still credits. And there's still the black market system. So you go in, you earn credits after each match. Once you have enough credits, you open up a basically like a loot box. And you're awarded with camouflages, emotes, uh, specialty weapons, that sort of thing. I know that's another big complaint. A lot of people didn't like what they did with Black Ops 3 with having the black market and being able to spend real money to get potentially uh, OP weapons, right? These custom that. weapons that you can only get from the black market. And, you know, if you've got some extra cash laying around, you can spend 100 bucks on getting these black market boxes and potentially get, you know, an, an epic weapon. I know a lot of people have a problem with that. Personally, I don't care. I, I feel like even if you got the most epic OP weapon in the game, you still got to be good enough to be able to use it. And I don't think any gun in the game is that good that can make a crappy player, uh, you know, a pro. That's just my opinion. Again, my opinion. You could think differently if you like. But uh, yeah, uh, again, a lot of the same, a lot of the same mechanics from Black Ops 3. Again, I like it. I'm a big fan of Black Ops 3. I like the wall running. I like the double jumps. Um, I was a fan of Advanced Warfare, which I know a lot of people hated Advanced Warfare, but I loved the rigs. I loved being able to fly around. I loved that when I punched somebody, I felt like I was Iron Man or Hulk punching somebody in the face, and like broke the you know broke the bones in their face. That's just it feels good, and I have to say the gunplay feels good in Infinite Warfare. Um, I've already started to gravitate to a few weapons uh, that I really like. Uh, it's the first two the first two assault rifles. Uh, I forget the one I'm I think what it's called. It's something F something 28 i don't know ftr f fubar i don't know this gun that i'm using right now is right now my, my favorite uh k bar k bar 32 that's what it's called um i really like this gun it shoots pretty fast and uh pretty accurate and uh i'm, I'm starting off from the get-go trying to get gold camo so I'm, I'm gonna be working on those i will be streaming a ton of infinite warfare guys i really really love this game again big fan of call of duty there hasn't been a call of duty i didn't like i loved ghosts i loved advanced warfare you know black ops 3 was a lot of fun um, and I think this game's gonna be a lot of fun too. I'm looking forward to the DLCs. I'm looking forward to new maps. Um, so yeah, 
That's that's my review, guys. I I enjoy it. I mean, um, it's Call of Duty. Again, I I don't I don't see the big deal about the hate of it being a lot like Black Ops 3, unless you didn't like Black Ops 3. Then of course you have all the hate in the world because you're like, yo, Black Ops 3 sucked and this game sucks. But uh, that's my opinion, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you are enjoying Infinite Warfare, if you are enjoying uh, this multiplayer. What's your favorite rig? What's your favorite gun right now? And uh, we'll talk about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on notifications to get notified each and every time I go live. Because I stream every, almost every day here in Clint's Games. And uh, Infinite Warfare is definitely going to be in the rotation. So we'll see you guys next time. Peace.